let's look at a way to manage the statistics when you have a large data set such as you generated in the reaction between sodium hydrogen carbonate and hydrochloric acid. We had, uh, in this case in 2015, we had about 40 data points to look at. And our outlier test really isn't working very well when you get past oh, 10 or 15 data. So what we're going to try to do is see how to eliminate outlier data or results. And then once you've done that, you will then take the rest of the data, what survives, calculate the average and the standard deviation and report your results that way. Please note that in the data that we generated in 2015, we had a big hunk right in the middle around 1.0 but then we had some points as low as 0.03 for the uh, ratio of sodium chloride to sodium hydrogen carbonate. And I think we had one ratio that was close to 4, both of which look very much like outliers. I am happy to say that Mr. Drew Cluett, our statistics teacher, put me on to this method of calculating and working with the data so that we can find the outliers more easily. Let's look at some terms first. In any data series, the maximum, of course, is the largest result. The minimum is the smallest result. The median is that datum that evenly divides the data into two parts, a high half and a low half. Then we can also divide the data into four quartiles. Uh, the low quartile goes from the minimum to what we call the quartile one datum. The second quartile goes from that quartile one datum to the median. Quartile three goes from the median to the, uh, the, the point that we call the quartile three number that uh, gets that next to highest set of data. And then quartile four is the highest fourth of the data. Let's now look at a series of data. I just manufactured this data for your use. And you see that in the first column of this spreadsheet. Now I've set up the spreadsheet to do the work for me. So, for instance, and we're using here the calc that comes along with OpenOffice because it's free. So here I set the maximum, and as you can see, the function is max, and then the data range from A1 down to A19. And as you can see, it automatically tells me that the maximum is 3.6. The minimum here is 0 0.03, and as you can see, it just says MIN and then the data range, which is A1 to A19. The median in the middle, we just asked median, and then we open parens and data range and close parens, and it found the middle data, which is 1.01. .01. Now, you'll notice that just with your data, as with your data, a lot of this is clustered around 1.0. And so you can see that quartile 3, which starts the highest fourth of the data, is just at 1.03. And quartile 1 is down just a little lower than 1 at 0.975. So we have these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 things that we defined on the previous slide. And the spreadsheet has found those for us. Now the next thing we do is calculate the IQR, and quite frankly, I don't know what that stands for. But what it is, is the difference between the value of quartile 3 and the value of quartile 1. So I simply took those two things and subtracted them. Now the theory says that we can throw out anything that is above 1.5 times the quartile 3 number plus the IQR, 1.5 times the IQR. So 
1.5 times the IQR, as you can see, is 0 0.0825. We then establish what we call the upper fence. The upper fence is quartile 3 plus this 1.5 times the IQR, 0 0.0825. When we add those two numbers together, we get 1.125. The lower fence is the quartile 1 number minus 1.5 times the IQR. And as you can see here, that number is 0.8925. Now the data that you work on will be different, but you're going to do it exactly the same way. I'll show you in a second what to look for. All right, now how do you find the outliers? Well, the upper fence is 1.125. That means that anything above that, there's a 90 plus percent chance that it is not valid data. So if we look here, we can see this is invalid, this is not valid, because they're all above 1.125. And looking down here, I don't see anything else that is above 1.125. This is the only thing that's close. The lower fence, 0.8925, anything below that can be discarded, can be disregarded. Therefore, this and this can be thrown out. And this is below 0.8925, so we could throw that out. This is slightly below 0.8925, so we can throw that out. So let's throw out all the data that is something that we can probably disregard because it's either above or below the fences on our data. So we're going to throw out this and this, this and this, and then this one we're going to throw out also, and this one. Okay, let me go ahead and copy all of this, and I'm going to put it on a new spreadsheet over here. That's just a copy of what we had before. Let's go back to sheet one, and we can look, and we'll just copy the values, 1.125, so that we can remember it. That's the upper fence, and 0.8925 is the lower. Okay, so let's throw out everything that is above. Above, I think that's pretty much everything above 1.125. And everything below this, that, that, I'm just pushing delete, that, just barely, that. And it looks like everything else is between these two numbers. Now we can do our final statistics. Here, we're going to establish this new data range. In fact, I'll just call it insert name define new data range. And here we're going to say the mean, and we say equals average of the new data range. 1.01, .01, let's go ahead and format that so it's not quite so top-heavy with digits, 1.02, and the standard deviation equals standard deviation new data range is 0.03. Again, we'll format that so we have two digits after the decimal point. So we would report on this data set having thrown away or, or moved to a different table the outliers that our average result is 1.02 plus or minus 0.03. Now when you do yours, you will set up all your data, all 40 or whatever points you've got here. You will find the maximum, the median, and the minimum. 
you'll use the statistical function on your calculator or on your computer program to find the quartile 3 number and the quartile 1 number. Then you're going to subtract the quartile 1 number from the quartile 3 number, and that's your IQR. You're going to multiply that by 1.5, and then to find our two fences, you're going to add the 1.5 times IQR to the quartile 3, and that gives you your upper fence. And then you are going to subtract the 1.5 times the IQR from the quartile 1 number that gives you your lower fence. You will then throw out everything that is above the upper fence and below the lower fence, or below the lower fence. You'll just keep what's in the middle. And on the remaining data, you can calculate your average and your standard deviation and report that as your result.